Today, I'm gonna be hitting a spear with Roman Reigns in every WWE 2K game. And we begin with WWE 2K14. And we begin with 88 overall Roman Reigns. Roman will be facing Sheamus. The big dog has the tag team titles as he enters through the crowd of the shield. And we gotta see what we can do against the Celtic warrior Sheamus. And I'm starting this video by giving Roman Reigns three finishers as he just hit Sheamus with a huge spear because I want to start it off with a bang and another spear from Roman Reigns. Is that going to be enough to put Sheamus away? Is two spears good enough? Two. Kick out at two. How about three? How about not three as he countered me? How about three now? The third spear. The trifecta. Is that good enough for the one, two, three? You're kidding me. Let's move on to the next game. Next up is WWE 2K15. We got a 92 overall Roman Reigns in 2K15. And we will be taking on Seth Rollins. Here comes the big dog. I am surprised to see Seth Rollins in his shield gear in 2K15 since the group broke up in 2014. I thought we were going to have Seth Rollins as the authority. I didn't think he would be in the shield in this game, truthfully, or at least in his shield gear. And this is probably the most pointless mechanic in any WWE 2K game. When they wrestle to the floor and then you have to find the hot circle. I absolutely hate this. And the collar and elbow tie-ups. I hate this every time I go back into these games. Why did they force this so much? Oh my, how do we get out of this animation? It's like non-stop. That's back-to-back -back times. And Seth Rollins. Oh my, another time! I think Seth Rollins is going to get a signature before I do here. Seth Rollins is doing good work at the moment. Finally got a counter. He's 99%. We're only at 78 here. Roman, get him with a Samoan drop, maybe? Not a Samoan drop. What is this move? Is this a submission? I don't want to make him tap out, but that's going to do some nice damage. We got ourselves a signature. Now we're going to use it. Does it got to be in the corner? Okay, it's a running Superman punch, maybe? Or can we do it from the corner? I guess I got to get him up. Let's go. Running Superman punch. There it is! Superman punch! And now we're going to charge up the finisher. Should we go to the corner? Where can we use the finisher? From right here. Hit him with the spear, Roman. Hit him with the spear, Roman. There's the spear, and what a spear that was. That was like a Goldberg type spear. That had a lot of power behind it. And the three. He definitely counted three. Next up is 2K16. In 2K16, we got a 90 overall Roman Reigns. And we're taking on the ultimate warrior. And now we got the solo big dog Roman Reigns. See what we got against the ultimate warrior. And the ultimate warrior is absolutely ripped in this. Not the collar and elbow. I didn't know it was in this game too. I forget it's in 2K16. I thought it was only in 15. What are we doing here? Somebody do something. Why are we tied up like this? And then we get smacked in the face. But like I was going to say, the Ultimate Warrior's muscles have muscles in this game. That is how ripped he is. And Roman Reigns, the big dog, is going to put down the Ultimate Warrior. And we're trying to get that signature so we can get that Superman punch and turn it into a spear here. And the Ultimate Warrior has us in the corner. Good elbow. I don't need a tutorial every time I come on the game. Come on, Roman. Right hands by Roman. Right hands by Roman. Got Warrior where we want him. On the ropes. Got off the ropes, but that's okay. Roman, get him up. And toss him down, and we're 68% to our signature. Roman, we got Warrior up. Good suplex by Roman Reigns. We're 93% to a Superman punch. 96%. We've got it officially exactly on 100%. And do we just do it from here again? Superman punch! Charge up the finisher. And here we go, the ultimate warrior. We are looking for the spear, and what a spear! These older games, Roman spear animation is insane. Two, and he kicked out, but that's okay. On to the next game. And now we got 2K17. Roman Reigns is an 89 overall. We are taking on Heath Slater. Oh, Roman Reigns gonna walk down the aisle in 2K17. No more from the crowd. I was wondering when that stopped. Go, Roman. Nice and easy. Oh, they start rating matches in this game as well. We got a half star rating, and I thought this collar and elbow thing was done by now. I can't believe it's still in the game. And every time I get the tutorial, no matter how many times I log into these older 2K games, they give me the tutorial every time. And honestly, I might actually need it because I don't know how it really works, but I don't care to know how it works either. Heath Slater is actually unstoppable. He has a signature, which we countered though, so that's nice to see because we weren't doing any offense pretty much to Heath Slater. Now we're up to about 86% on the signature. There's a big suplex by the big dog. 
And then Heath Slater's going to roll out of the ring. But we're going right back at him with a huge clothesline. Way to drop him right there, Roman. How about another one? Oh, we missed. Good job by Heath. At that time, we connect. Now get him up. Now get him up. We're going to look for the Superman punch. And we're going to charge it up again. And get Heath Slater up. Roman Reigns just spears people into a different dimension in these older games. And that's got to be a one, a two. How did Heath Slater just kick out of Roman Reigns' spear? Next up, WWE 2K18. Roman Reigns up to a 95 overall in 2K18. And we will take on Jey Uso. And Roman Reigns walking down the aisle of WrestleMania 33 in WWE 2K18. And if only Jey and Roman knew what their rivalry and family and faction would become one day as the bloodline at this point. It's actually pretty crazy to see Jey and Roman much younger before all the bloodline stuff goes down roman reigns and his cousin are gonna battle one more time but this time it's actually back in time because roman and jay are back here in wwe 2k18 trying to end the reign of roman reigns it still counts right now if he beats his cousin because he should have beat him at SummerSlam last year if it wasn't for his brother jimmy now roman going top rope and this game seems a lot faster than the last few games right now jay is not getting any offense in roman reigns is owning his cousin at the moment roman reigns in the highest overall we've seen so far in 95 is not letting jay do anything at the moment and we don't need a tutorial. We don't need any tips as Roman's going to back body drop Jey Uso. I actually don't know the name of that power bomb though. But it is a nice move. I would have liked to have done the Superman punch though. And Roman Reigns. Okay, see, that's a weaker spear than what we've been seeing so far in this video. Two and Jey Uso. Why can't we get a three for a while? Next up, we got 2K19. Roman down to a 92 from a 95 last year. And let's see who Roman will be facing. Shinsuke Nakamura. And would you look at Roman Reigns with the Universal Championship around his waist in this game. The King of Strong Style. The US Champion, it looks like in this game. Shinsuke Nakamura. I don't think Shinsuke and Roman have ever had a one-on-one -on -one world title match. I could be wrong. And since Roman has the Universal Championship in this game, we'll count it as one. I could be wrong about that, though. Honestly, I don't remember, like, my 2018, 2019, like, SmackDown Live era. Come on, Roman, though. Good work so far. We're just going counter for counter. Both guys just countering each other. And a huge power bomb by Roman. I'm actually out of counters. I hate that that was a thing in the older games. Like, you can only counter a certain amount of times. And then you're just completely vulnerable to any attack that comes your way. Like, I can't counter a single thing right now. I have to take anything Shinsuke is going to give us at the moment. And that includes all these elbows. From the top rope, Roman Reigns. There's the elbow drop. We've connected with a bunch of elbow drops in this video. You never really see Roman go to the top rope and deliver elbow drops like that. But you're seeing them a bunch in this video. And Shinsuke Nakamura with a huge kick to Roman. We're actually going to get pinned here. There's no way. It's a three count, though. Good kick out at zero. I think in the older games, for some reason, when you, like, run out of counters as the ref just gets destroyed, I don't think you can even use your signature right now because I don't have any counters available. And why does counters have anything to do with the signature? Like, I can't use it. It doesn't make any sense why that's a thing, but it's all good. If you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Good counter, Roman. We just stole the finisher from Shinsuke into the spear. Is that going to be enough to put away Nakamura? Two. How do they keep kicking out? Next up is WWE 2K20. Roman's a 92 overall in 2K20. And we will be facing The Miz. The big dog. Once again, I think this will be the last time we use this variation of Roman Reigns before the Tribal Chief is born. The final big dog, Roman Reigns, before the Tribal Chief will join us. Actually, I think in WWE Battlegrounds, I don't know if it's the Tribal Chief or if it's big dog Roman Reigns. I've actually never played that game in an actual match, so I don't know which Roman Reigns we're going to be using after this, but we are going to find out shortly. Let's get Miz in the corner, and here comes Roman Reigns. Thunderous clothesline. Miz getting up. Miz going right back down with the power slam. We're on a roll right here in 2K20. And I honestly can't wait to switch to the good controls in 2K22 and beyond. Those controls are so much better than these older ones. But we are already at 53% to our signature. Miz doesn't know what's hitting him right now except for our head on his head at the moment. And then a big boot from Miz. We got Miz down. We're 14% away from the signature. Look at the stomp to the face of the Miz. And now what's Roman going to go for? Picking him up from the canvas, showing off that strength, and a huge power bomb. And I think just one more kick will do it for a signature here. Or one clothesline, whatever Miz wants to do. Get him up now, Roman. Get him up. 
Oh, what's that? Hold on. Oh, it's a different button now for the signature. It's not triangle anymore. That got me messed up. Let's see if this will work. Superman punch. There it is, Roman. And now, can we hit the finisher? I don't know where to do it from. Do we do it from here? Okay, here we go. Get ready for the spear. In 2K20. Roman. Spear. Down goes Miz. Can we get the three count? Roman, get up. What was that, Roman? You hit, Did he hit the spear or not? We definitely hit that spear. How did Miz get up so quickly? That doesn't make any sense. We're hitting another one. All right, we're just going to do it from right in front of him. I mean, this should put him away. If we don't get a three count after this, I'm shocked. Down goes the Miz. Roman Reigns with the pin. Two, three. Roman Reigns wins. Next up is 2K Battlegrounds. Roman Reigns is a 94 in this game. And we're going to take on the big show. Roman Reigns. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into right now with this game. So I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I did look up a little bit of the controls here to see how to do a spear. And oh my. Roman Reigns with a huge suplex to the big show. I can't get over this game. This game looks hysterical. This actually looks really, really fun. Just to mess around and play. I got a motorcycle cycle in my hand and we're slamming it on the big show on run when we have a spear right spear i think that counts that's a spear is that gonna be a th oh that wasn't even a one wasn't even a one how many times could you spear in a row another spear by roman are we fully connect okay how many spears can i do can i just do infinite spears uh, no, that's a beautiful spear now that was an excellent spear oh, we can't even get a one count no idea how big show just hit us with that type of choke slam can we get a one count? How do we get a one count? We can't get a one. I'm done here, but this was a ton of fun. Next up is 2K22. Roman's now the head of the table, Tribal Chief. We're taking on Kofi Kingston. And for the first time in a WWE 2K game, the Tribal Chief has arrived. And his job is to take out Kofi Kingston. Tribal Chief going up top. We've delivered so many elbow drops. Why not do one with the Tribal Chief? Let's get Kofi in some grapple moves here. Dude, we got for him. Okay, never mind. Kofi with the counter. Why is Roman Reigns' hair, like, going through the back of his body? What am I even witnessing? Good catch, though, by Roman. Kofi looking for the Hurricane Rana. And then we turn it into a power bomb. We got ourselves a finisher. Kofi is down. Roman's ready. The Tribal Chief Roman. What are we waiting for, Reigns? The Spear! And that's got to be it. This is Tribal Chief Roman Reigns we're talking about here. If he would ever like to go for the pin, or is he just going to admire what he did? Is this going to put Kofi away? One, two. Oh, he kicked out. You got to be kidding me. Now for 2K23. And Roman is a 99 overall in this game. And we're going to take on John Cena. I don't remember the last time there was a 99 overall in a WWE game. But Roman Reigns is a 99. And Roman's taking on one of the other highest overall superstars in this game. John Cena. Prime John Cena versus Tribal Chief Roman would have been a movie. Would have been amazing because Roman Reigns' promo work is so much better than any time they face each other. Even when Roman and John squared up, I believe it was 2021 at SummerSlam. I believe that was the main event. But imagine like 2014, 2012 John Cena, even like 2010 John Cena versus 2022 Roman Reigns in his prime. And here we go, Roman with the left hands right now, delivering them to Cena. Closing in on a signature already. As soon as we get that signature, we're going to be in business. Superman Punch is going to follow up right into the Superman Punch spear combo. And Cena, why are you celebrating right now? You got a 99 Roman right behind you. We're going to pull you right down from that top rope. And then a headbutt is going to get us a signature. Oh, Roman Reigns just slapped John Cena in the face. And now we're looking to plant him. Okay, Cena with the counter, though. He's not letting us hit the signature just yet. But there's the counter from Roman. And Roman trying to go for the uppercut. Cena counter. We're just going counter for counter right now. Until we finally get the headbutt and put him down. And now it's time. Load up that right fist. Roman Reigns looking for the Superman punch. Now we got Cena where we want him. He's getting up. Roman's ready for the spear. And the spear connects to the 16-time champion. He's stunned. Is that enough to put Cena away too? Of course, he kicked out. And for this final Roman, he's taking on Cody Rhodes as a 97 overall. Let's see if the Tribal Chief can put Cody Rhodes' dream away. Cody Rhodes, though, wants to finish his story. We're just not going to let him do it. And since this is the final game and the first year of the Super Finisher, I've given Roman three finishers here, and I've also given it to Cody. And, of course, Cody hits me with a finisher. And we might be done here. I want to see Roman hit the Super Finisher and see if that's enough to put Cody away. 
It is on legend difficulty though, this one. So I don't know. Is a super finisher even gonna put Cody Rhodes away? We're gonna find out. That should be the super finisher, right? Yes, it is. Super finisher's good. Into the spear. And let's see if that's enough to put away the American Nightmare. Come on. One, two, three. The super finisher is good enough to put Cody away. And Roman Reigns will end the video off with a win. That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.